Hello, Sandra Embleton here. I recently uh, was uh, lucky enough to vacation down in Punta Cana um, in January of 2019. And when I was there, I was swimming in the water and I happened to meet this, uh, this man who came up and uh, began talking with me, began um, a conversation with me, asking me to not uh, judge him on his tattoos, but that he owned a college and that he really was a nice guy and that um, I should, you know, not be afraid of him because he rides a motorcycle and tattoos. Well, my husband rides a motorcycle, my sons have tattoos, so I wasn't bothered in the least. But he managed to share this amazing story with me and it evolved around the supernatural, that he's had a number of supernatural things happen to him in his life like many of us who are on the spiritual path have had happen. And often when we have something supernatural happen to us, we have no reference point for it. We have, we're reluctant to share it with other people because our greatest fear is that we will be judged crazy. And if you're a real macho guy and you're a real leader, a real tough guy, and you start having supernatural things happen to you, your partner, and people around you. And you make the judgment that you're crazy because of it, or you're afraid people will see that, or, or will, will make a judgment against you that you're crazy. And that's a, a real fear. It was a real fear for me um, before I started um you know, making videos and, and, and being able to have the confidence to speak and to write. Um, it, it is a fear because you're, you're beginning to talk to people in the world um, about the world of the kingdom, the world of the spirit. And when you are seeing or having supernatural or spiritual sightings or occurrences happening to you, what it's really saying is you're beginning to see into a different dimension. You are being awakened to the fact that there's more going on than what appears in front of you in the physical. You are being awakened and shown, hey, you can see more. You can know more. Do you want to see it? Do you want to, to know it? You're being called. You're being called into the kingdom of God. That's God's calling card saying, hey, I'm going to show you some things or I'm going to let you see beyond the and the other side of the veil. And would you like to see more? But some of us, most of us, I shouldn't say that, people can go into the, uh, well, if I do that, people are going to think I'm loopy, you know, do do fruit loops or, you know, woo woo, uh, mystical, judge, judge, label, label. And so because of this fear, which resides at a low frequency, we don't we, we we stay there. We listen to the fear, we listen to the doubt, and 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 it becomes something we're comfortable with. Well, we're used to shutting out our powers, our abilities, we're used to keeping a lid on them, we're used to trying to do our best to fit into the physical world. And because we're comfortable with that, when something begins to come along and we have a mystical experience we go into the what like you know oh my god what was that people think i'm crazy and then if you're lucky you have a mystical experience and then you go what was that holy crap i can't believe that just happened to me i want to learn all i can about what just happened to me because something amazing just happened to me and that starts you on your spiritual journey. That's like a, a kickstart. That's like, hey, this mystical experience happened to you. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to, why did that happen to you? And as Joseph Campbell tells us, this is the hero's journey. This is the beginning of the hero's journey inward to himself, to herself, to find that connection with God who exists in the kingdom, who is the head of the spiritual kingdom. So when you say, I want to be spiritual, you want to follow your spiritual journey, your spiritual journey begins when you have a connection, a connection 
with God and how you start there is go into your heart. Ask your heart what love says. Ask your heart, God, if you're loving me and you're inside me and you're bringing this to me, you must love me because you're bringing me into the kingdom because you're showing me the magic works of the kingdom. You're showing me stuff that's happened that's that's miraculous, that's different. And um, I want to know more about it. I want to know more about it. So when we begin to walk into the spiritual kingdom, our poster boy or the person that we're to emulate is God's son, Christ, Joshua ben Joseph, because he was someone who we know was on the earth, but also in the kingdom at the same time. So his recorded journey is something, well, we, you know, we can, we, we can go by that. We can trust in that if we choose to. Um, I just make the choice. I choose to trust in that and try to emulate that journey that he took as much as I can. So what did he do a lot? He went up on the hillside and he was alone with his father and he was in the peace. He was in the peace. He was in the quiet. And when you go and you're by yourself and you go into the peacefulness and you calm the body and you breathe and you become still and go into your heart, that is when you can start to hear that is what hear God. And when you go into that peacefulness, it passes God's understanding to you. The peace that passes all understanding, the shalom at shalom. It is a peaceful state that you go into. And now when you're in there, you can start to hear things. You can start to hear God. He will impart to you his wisdom. And you will start to receive guidance and direction. So when something amazing happens to you, don't run for it, from it. Don't run it over with your truck. Understand that you're able to see different dimensions, different consciousness levels because you exist there as well as here. You have a reference point, past, present, future, being at the same time, part of you that's been there wants to remind you, hey, I know you're down here, but it's time to come forward and do what you're here to do. It's time to stop dicking around and really be serious about what your purpose is here. Maybe you have a great purpose. Maybe in a past life, you were a king. Maybe in a past life, you were someone like uh, a, a leader, I, and I know Shakespeare. We look at it and we go, "It's a, 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 a it's a fictional. They're fictional stories, fictional plays, but it's the essence of someone like Macbeth. It's the essence of someone like Hamlet. It's ex the the essence of that hero, of that person that um, was a hero that did a great thing or that has something here to clean up karmically." Perhaps that energy wants to come and work through you. So learn as much as you can about you. Learn as much as you can about why you have the tattoos that you have. What is the journey you, that you're recording on your body that is actually your journey, your karmic journey, your soul's journey. So it's an invitation to go and learn about yourself. And if you want to run from it, you can. But if you want to learn more, read meditate, listen for guidance and you'll receive everything you need when you make that step and say, I want to come into the kingdom. I want to come into the realm of the spirit, which means I want to receive greater awareness. Being in the spiritual kingdom, being with God, being in that high vibration of love brings you greater awareness and the truth exists and always has existed. It's up to us to discover it and to move to the higher frequencies to unveil it. It's like electricity. It always was there, but we had to find it. We had to bring it into this reality. And so that is what we're doing. We're going into those that higher spiritual realm, that, that oneness with our creator, and we are receiving his wisdom. How great is that? If you love to seek wisdom, seek wisdom.
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ